I could do this all night, Michael. You ready for another run? There's a store coming right around the corner. All right, you got to guard me this time. Last time, you haven't been too good at guarding me, but you got to make sure you look after me this time because I'm going to be at the back of this store taking out this safe and getting whatever's inside. So, come on, Michael. Just just make sure you got my back, okay? That's all I need. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. You're just a normal person. You're not a zombie. You're just clearing out the store. Anyone in the back? No one in the back. Anyone in the... Oh, wait, Michael. Are you okay? Nope. He's He's just shouting. <laughs> He's just shouting for no apparent reason. All right, Michael, I'm gonna quickly get this safe. Make sure you got my back though, dude Because it could get messy pretty fast So I would appreciate it if you could just quickly look behind you and make sure no one comes to ambush us because we are in the middle of a zombie Apocalypse so last lock come on come on come on come on come on. Oh, it's taking forever I can hear zombies outside as well. Oh my days. All right, there we go. And we're in. We're in. There we go, Michael. We've got the goods. We've got the goods. Time to go back to your base. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, make sure you're equipped. Can we see anyone? No one in the store? Okay, I'm just going to run straight outside. Anyone? I can't see anyone. Whew. I don't think we made too much of a disturbance this time. That is so far our 20th store in GTA 5, so we, we pretty much got uh, as many things as we need to get, and I'm pretty sure we have enough supplies to last us a very long time. Wait, is that a helicopter? Is there someone in there? There's someone in a helicopter. There's, 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 there's survivors. You see that, Michael? There's, there's, look, quickly, wave at the helicopter. Wave at the helicopter, Michael. Quick, do you have a flare? Oh, no, 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 no. Do we have a flare? I don't have a flare. I don't have a flare. Oh no, Michael, please tell me you have a flare. Oh, no, no. Oh, please don't crash, please. I think they crashed. Our only hope. Oh, Michael, we need to try and find a flare. That's that's the seventh helicopter I've seen come past us. We need to find a flare so we can just, just let them know people are surviving down here. And hopefully get picked up. That was not good. But at least we know there's survivors. At least we know there's definitely survivors. The roads are pretty clear. Wait, what is this? What's this? I haven't seen this before. Have you seen this before, Michael? This place is huge. Okay, it comes in around there. There's a van just falling down over there. Is there someone trying to drive around in that van? Are you serious? What is going on in here? It's completely new to me. I haven't even found this place at all. It must be some sort of sanctuary or something. Uh, is that a zombie? I'm not too sure. I don't really want to disturb it. Maybe they're real people dressed up as zombies. I'm not too sure. I hope they don't mind me just driving around their base. Okay, so that's the other end of the base. How do we get down from this bridge? Is there a way down? <laughs> I assume we have to go down there, but I have no idea how we do that. So I might need to try and find a way down or something. This place looks crazy. Oh my gosh. I want to find out who's in charge here. Maybe we can make some friends or something. Oh, are they zombies? Nope, they're signaling to us. They're, oh, oh, okay, that's, he's talking to someone. It's almost as though they're telling people new people have arrived or something. All right, so I guess these are the gates. So we have to leave our car here and we have to go through the gate. Can we go through this part? Nope, we have to go around. All right, I'm going to make sure I'm prepared just in case they do ambush us. Because for all we know, this could be anything. It could even be a zombie base or something. If that's even a thing. I don't know. These zombies could be clever. But this place definitely looks like it's occupied. And there's some gates over there. Michael, you still following me? Good. I'm keeping my eyes out just in case we do find someone. But this place looks so strange. I think it's a sanctuary. There's someone guarding. Another person guarding. I'm going to put this away. It looks like it's guarded by real people. Survivors, I guess. Can we go through? Are you going to let us through? Hello? Hello? <laughs> Hello? Come on, buddy. Come on. Let us through, please. We're not zombies. I promise. I haven't been bitten. I haven't come close to any zombies. We know what we're doing. Oh, they opened the gate. Okay, cool. <laughs> come on, Michael. Time to go in, buddy. All right. So we have some survivors in here. Some vehicles as well. Awesome. And these vehicles look like they're prepared for the zombie survival as well. Everyone's talking. I'm not sure if they're talking about me, but they're talking about something. I want to try and find out who's in charge here. Some more survivors. I haven't seen this many survivors together since Michael's house. And even then, there were only like five survivors. Hey. I haven't seen this many people, this big of a community, since the entire apocalypse happened. Some more people. We've got some guards. I want to try and find out who's in charge, though. 
Oh, what's gone on here? What has this guy done? What has he done? <laughs> you shouldn't have done it, guys. You shouldn't have done it. Where's who, where's the in charge person? Who's leading this place? We have some more people guarding. Okay, this place looks heavily gated. All right, so on the way in, I did see something. There's a ladder going up there. So I assume whatever's on the rooftop, it looks like it's heavily guarded. So I assume whoever's leading this place, whoever's kind of like the owner, the founder, whoever's just governing this place is going to be on the roof. So I'm not too sure if we're allowed up there. So I'm just going to go with the, you know, go with the flow and just accidentally go up that ladder and see if anyone stops me. So anyone? Oh, I just walked right past him. Awesome. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go, Michael. <laughs> Come on, dude. Time to go up this ladder. What is up here, though? I assume, like I said, it is going to be the leader or something. Someone we can talk to because there is a ladder being guarded by, like, everyone. Ooh. Okay, so we got some benches. Michael, are you coming up? Where's Michael? Yeah, he's coming up as well. All right, so we have some benches. It looks like there's a gym there as well. This place is so kitted out. This is awesome. What's around here? There's a stairway or something going... Up here. Man, I gotta use this gym sometime. I gotta make sure I'm prepared for these zombies. These zombies, they're not easy. They are not easy, guys. Anything around here? Nope. Nothing around here. Just an outpost, I guess. Maybe a side passage. But inside here, there's some beds. Maybe they're, like, hospital beds or something? I think so. There's some medication over there as well. And, oh yeah, we got another medic box over there. There's also this. Oh, this looks like the person in charge. Yes, you can see two people here. One person's running. I'm not too sure what he's doing, but the other guy standing there, he, he looks pretty confident. I think he's in charge. And there's another group of people looking over the map of Los Santos. And a whole box of gear. Oh my gosh, these guys are so kitted out. I am so jealous. Oh my days. All right, I'm going to talk to one of them and see if they can tell me anything. Where's Michael gone? Oh, there he is. Okay, you can stay outside if you want to, Michael. It's okay. I understand if you're scared. <laughs> All right, there's another outpost up there as well. Okay, I'm gonna go and talk to these guys and see what they have to say. Uh, hello? Oh, they're talking to me. How's it going, dude? Okay, so he's telling me about their other base. They have an antennae. It looks like they've run out of fuel or something. And they want us to go over to their other base. Okay, that was very straight to the point. <laughs> Maybe it's kind of like a token of how to get into their community. They're saying they're low on fuel, and they want us to go over to their antennae base, which is located, I believe, if I just take a look at this, it's located just on there or something. And they want us to go over there to find out exactly what's going on. That's awesome! So there might actually be a cure for the zombies. I have no idea what I'm getting myself into. The base might not even exist. But we don't really have much of a choice here because store running, that, that can go, you know, maybe a few weeks, a few months or so. But this looks way more sustainable. So I'm going to go and tell Michael the plan and I'll get back to you. I'll get back to you, dude. I'll let you know. Michael, <laughs> they think they know where the cure is and they want us to go over to the antennae base. And they want us to find out exactly what their other team know because these guys are low on fuel and they're unable to get anywhere or they're unable to get too far with the fuel they have. They definitely won't be able to make it back from the antennae base, that's for sure. So they want us to go there, find out exactly what they know, and deliver the information back to these guys. And once we do that, I believe we're going to be part of their community, which sounds way better. I mean, I know your tennis court's great, Michael. I know you have some friends on there. I know you look a little bit angry with me, but trust me, this looks way better than your tennis court, okay? And I'm pretty sure you do know, deep down, that this place is where we want to be. I gotta be honest with you, Michael, I don't even know the way out, so... Just, just bear with me, okay? I'm trying my best. Can we take one of theirs? I'm not sure if we're allowed to. They're out of fuel, so I don't think we can. So we'll have to try and... Oh, they've opened the gate this time. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much. It feels like we're valued in their community now. It feels like we're valued. The antennae should be just up here anyway, so we're only like two minutes away or so, but... I think we were pretty good. We've, we found some pretty interesting things. We've come this far as well. And I'm looking forward to finding the cure. And then we can just, you know, kick back our feet, relax, and, uh, yeah, just talk about this in the bar or something. But the antenna is just around the corner. And, oh, this looks pretty nice. They have some off-road vehicles. Oh, okay, this looks good. And I'm not too sure what to say. I didn't get a name or anything else like that. I, I should have probably got a name. I'm just going to climb over and hope these guys are accepting of me. 
Come on, Michael. You know how to climb. You know how to climb. I'm pretty sure you do. All right. Everyone seems pretty relaxed. There's the antennae as well, where they're tracking everything. I just need to try and find out who's in charge. Are they going to be... Oh. Finish it. Why are you the dog doesn't look too happy. Can we go inside this place? Okay. No, no, no. No, no, dude. Okay, Michael. We got to stop. We got to stop, dude. We got to stop. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay, dude. Just chill. Just chill. We just scared a few people, but it's fine. It's fine. Now let's try and find out who's in charge here, okay? Just... Oh my gosh. I can't believe you did that. Oh man, this town. It's a madhouse. Alright, Michael. Okay, buddy. Okay. I mean, I know you just... You did make it a madhouse, okay? And... Oh! Okay, I found someone. Hello. Okay, we were sent from the people in the city. We were told to talk about the cure, which you were telling them about. They don't actually have any fuel to come over to see you guys. So I'm here in replacement. Uh, just let me know what you need help with, and we're happy to do it. Cool. I think I think that should work. No, no. Okay, he's talking to me. Great. All right. So these guys don't have fuel as well, but they know where a helicopter is, and it looks like they want us to go and get the cure. Okay. So I wasn't really expecting that. I was just I, okay. <laughs> It looks like these guys want us to get the cure for them, and they're telling us the cure is over in the FIB building, is that correct? We have to go in through the roof, but we have to try and find a helicopter, but they know where a helicopter is because one of their troops landed, but the troops didn't make it, but the helicopter survived because they can still track it. And the helicopter, it's not too far away actually, it's not too far away. Is that one of your guys? Because if it is, we could take that- no, okay, they're not going to give us the helicopter. Fine, we'll have to try and get the one, which they need recovering, and it's just over here. I think it's somewhere on this hill or something, somewhere over there, so it's not too far away. No, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take the fuel from this car, and I'm going to put it into this Mesa, because I want to take a 4x4. I don't care. I know you guys are asking a lot from me, so I'm just going to take a lot from you, and we're taking this 4x4. I do not care, considering we're going to get this helicopter for you. All right, Michael, come on, get in. Get in, dude. We're going to get this helicopter. Whew, I have no idea how... I, I don't know how we're going to do this, but we've got to do this. So, it's over at that waypoint, somewhere around there. And we just got to recover it, go over to the FIB building and find... I know right now Michael is not happy with me because he just wanted to stay at his tennis courts, but you don't really have a choice, dude, okay? I'm the only one you know and can trust in this apocalypse, so you don't really have much of a choice. This is why we get a 4x4, Michael, okay? This is why we do it, because we wouldn't be able to do this in your tailgater. I'm sorry it's the truth, but we wouldn't be able to do it in your tailgater, okay? Oh, wait. I can see the I helicopter, can't. and I can yeah, also I see... Is that a but huge you know, horde of zombies coming towards weird, us? Literally over the, the hill. Town. Yeah, they oh probably gosh, alright. I don't think Easter we're going to be able to have, right? get the helicopter yeah. without taking out some of those zombies, Michael. Now, we have a few options here. I could just drive straight into them. I'm not too sure if I want to do that, though, because if we stop in the middle of them, they're going to pull us out and rip us to shreds. So I don't think we have too much of a choice but to get out of this car and just to take on as many as we can. And if we need to use the car, we will. But we don't have much of a choice here, Michael, so it's time to start taking out the horde. We've got to do this, dude. We've got to do this. And make sure you're, you're efficient on your ammo. We don't want to run out of ammo too fast. Oh, my gosh. This is way too many. There's way too many. Oh, my days. All right. I'm going to get a bit closer. Oh, my days. There's so many zombies. A huge horde of them. Have they, I think they've just collected around the helicopter. There's still a few more at the helicopter as well. I think someone's trying to get into it, actually. I'm not too sure. No, that's definitely a zombie. All right, Michael, come on. We've got to take out all the zombies. Come on, Michael. Come on, dude. I know you got this. You got this. <sighs> okay, come on. Come on. Oh, my days. They are getting closer and closer. <laughs> this is crazy. I've never seen this many zombies before. Oh, my days. I think the closest we got to this was when we were going past that store and we just ran into a huge horde of them in the city. But this is mad. These Michael, they're getting close. They're getting way too close. Come on, just a few more. Just a few more. I think, nice I think we're okay. I think we're okay. Alright, just don't do anything for a minute. Just make sure they're all taken out. So that was insane. That was actually insane. Did you see that, Michael? That was crazy. Whew, I'm glad I got you with me, Michael, because I would have not been able to do that by myself. Alright, just take out this one guy. And it's time to go and get this helicopter. 
Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, what? There's another horde. They must have heard all of the noise. Okay, Michael, we don't really have much of a choice here, but we've got to take out these guys. Where are you? Dude, come on. Come a bit higher. Come a bit higher. You need to get the heads. Oh, my days. They're getting quite close. They're getting quite close. That was a huge horde of zombies. Okay, I think that's them. I think they're done now. I can see why they didn't want to come over here this time. I, I honestly can. Maybe they weren't even out of fuel. Maybe they just wanted this helicopter back. I'm going to land the helicopter, and then I'm going to break in through the glass. I hope there's not too many zombies down there. They did give us this. I mean, this will definitely get through the glass pretty fast, but we've got to make sure we're prepared for when the glass does end up breaking. So give us a second. Just get my back, and let's go. Let's, let's drill through this glass. Oh my gosh, it's gonna break any second now. And we're in. Oh gosh, there's so many zombies. There's way too many. Michael, 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 get back. Okay. Uh, we gotta take these guys out because the cure is downstairs. They must have all come to my noise of the drilling because I only saw one or two before. I think it's around here. I think it's this way, Michael. There's a way out around here. I think we have to go this way. Yes, it's this way. It's this way, Michael, okay? Are we gonna encounter any zombies? All right, Michael, we need to be as quiet as possible so we don't cause too much of a disturbance. And we need to make sure we're checking all angles, okay? Can we go through this door? It's through here. Whereabouts are we? I've never been inside this building. <sighs> okay, I don't think the cure's gonna be here. I think this is where they were making the cure. I did hear something about this on the news a long time ago. There was a huge explosion in this building whilst they were trying to develop something scientifically. So I assume they were developing the cure. Everything exploded. And from what it sounds like, someone took the cure and moved it to another level. So down even more. All right. <laughs> we have to take the stairs again. And we need to make sure we're watching our back as well. I can hear zombies everywhere. So can we go through this door? No, we can't. Let's go down here. Through this door. No, we can't. Down here. Why did we sign up to doing this? Nope, it's the next one. There's another door. How many doors are there? Come on. Oh, it's got to be this one. This is the bottom floor. All right, Michael. Uh, be my guest. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, let's just go. I can't believe we're doing this. I have no idea where we are, but I think this is where we need to be. I can still hear the zombie noises. Is that a worker? Are you? I'm gonna leave him. I'm gonna leave him like so. I don't I don't want to do anything to him just in case he's a worker because he's not doing anything to us. Oh wait, there's a zombie there. Okay, zombie, zombie, zombie. Okay, Michael, there's zombies. There's zombies on this floor. We need to be very, very careful. We need to take them all out before we do anything. <gasps> There's people in the toilets. There's people everywhere. I think we've got everyone. So I'm going to go back over to that guy and see if he has any information on the cure. He's got glasses on as well. This guy looks like a real hero. So you know anything about this cure? All right, Michael, are you going to stay out there? Okay, Michael's staying outside. I think he's going to take guard, but we're now inside and I'm going to ask him. So do you know anything about the cure? We're here for the cure. Oh, no. I think we were just beaten to it. Someone took the cure already. They said they were part of the team we were in, but that, that can't be true because they sent us to go and get the cure. So if we didn't take the cure, who did? Some guys in suits. They seem professional. They seem to know what they're doing. That means there must be another base somewhere. But they've taken the cure. Are there no other copies? Nothing else? No instructions? Anything else like that? Nope, it's all been given away. Thanks for the information. If, if you want any help escaping or anything, let me know. Nope, you're going to stay here. Whatever they're going to do with the cure, I don't know. But we need to try and find it so we can control it, develop it, and give it to everyone in San Andreas. So, are you in for this, Michael? Are you ready? So, if you guys did enjoy this episode, then be sure to smash that thumbs up button. And let me know in the comments section below where you think episode 4 should go. What you think we should do. Anything else you would like to see, guys. Because this entire series is controlled by the community and directed by you guys as well. So, if you would like to see anything happen, comment it in the comments section below. And never know, guys your idea might make it into another video but guys i hope you did enjoy this episode as always if you did smash that thumbs up button
button and subscribe so you don't miss out on more stuff like this on a daily basis. But guys, my name is Nort. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, stay absolutely awesome. I'll see you guys in the next video.